What if I told you that there's a species still alive that predates the dinosaurs? What if I told you that some of its species are larger than blue whales while others are invisible to the human eye? What if I told you that one species is biologically immortal, another species is the most venomous marine animal in the world and can kill a human in two minutes? And get this, one species has 24 eyes. Yeah, I bet you're wondering what I'm talking about. Well, I'm talking about jellyfish. Yeah, the bioluminescent, free-swimming marine animals with a bell-shaped head and stinging tentacles that live all around the world. They've inhabited the ocean for 500 to 700 million years, and many scientists speculate that there could be as many as 300,000 species of jellyfish that haven't been discovered yet. Jellyfish are genuinely magnificent creatures, but what if I told you that I hadn't even got to the best part? Jellyfish may be the key, not to my Toyota Camry, but to a new source of renewable energy. Back in July, I introduced you to a young man who is not even in college yet, but he knew a lot about the presidents of the United States. And tonight, he is back with a new area of knowledge. Please welcome 18. year old whiz kid. Brandon Adil. Hello. Brandon. I'm doing well, Jimmy. Thanks so much for having me on the show. So about jellyfish being a new source of renewable energy, scientists are now able to create solar cells from green jellyfish goo. By jellyfish goo, I'm referring to green fluorescent protein, or GFP, found in some bioluminescent jellyfish. Jimmy, brilliant scientists such as myself are now capable of blending up thousands of jellyfish and then extracting GFP from them. Typically, to create electricity from photons, we must use silicone solar cells or Gratzel cells. Silicone is the second most abundant element on Earth. However, it's a semiconductor, and it must be aided by expensive materials to efficiently conduct photons. Here's a diagram illustrating what I was just explaining. As you can see, the semiconductor is representing the silicon, and it's attached to electrolytes but is also attached to other materials such as titanium dioxide, which are pretty expensive. <laughs> However, GFP can substitute these cells. By adding a drop of GFP onto aluminum electrodes within a silicon dioxide substrate, the GFP is able to assemble itself into strands around the electrodes. Then once it's exposed to ultraviolet light, the GFP absorbs the photons and then emits the electrodes around a circuit producing electricity. You still with me, Jimmy? Anyways, this would simplify the design of solar panels and drastically reduce the cost. Scientists are also experimenting with GFP to produce fuel cells with a light emitted with chemicals rather than a standard external light. This method could power nano devices that would operate independently and the human body to help fight tumors and diagnose diseases. And that's about it. Thank you guys for having me on the show. How you doing? <laughs> Astonishing. <laughs>so I just got back from the Jimmy Kimmel show not the flex or anything it was a really fun experience but there's something I wanted to add for all of you animal lovers and Carol Bassins out there yes we are putting up thousands of jellyfish just to extract GFP but it's fine because jellyfish are actually become a huge problem due to a phenomenon called jellyfish blooms the population of jellyfish has exploded all around the world has gone so bad that they've shut down nuclear power plants in Sweden and the Philippines by clogging up the cooling systems. They've also destroyed millions of dollars worth of fishing by sewing the boats, stinging the fish, and even messing with the nets. Jellyfish are highly adaptive because their body is 95% water, while the rest is for the bare minimum so they can eat and float around the ocean. It's our fault for overfishing their predators and polluting the waters, so in order to fix our ocean's ecosystem, Making use of jellyfish would be helpful. Making jellyfish an extremely ideal, renewable source of energy. Thank you guys. Peace out.